Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a husky. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. To the right, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Draw this circle slightly smaller than the first circle. Don't place the circles too far apart or the body will be too long. On the top left side, draw a smaller circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. The head circle should be about 2 thirds the size of the first circle. The edges of the head circle and the first circle should touch so that the neck isn't too long. Inside the head, draw a curved horizontal line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. On the top left side, draw a shorter vertical line for another construction guide. Under the horizontal line, draw a small circle as a guide for the muzzle. Draw the muzzle close to the left edge of the head. Pay attention to the size of this circle in relation to the head. On top of the head, draw two small triangular shapes as guides for the ears. Place the ears high on the head, don't draw them too far down on the sides. The ear on the left should be slightly smaller than the ear on the right. Under the first circle, draw a long vertical line as a guide for the front leg. Pay attention to the length of this line in relation to the body. Bend the bottom part of the line to indicate the foot. Under the circle on the right, draw a long angled line as a guide for the hind leg. Bend the middle part of the line to indicate a joint on the leg. Connect the head to the body using two sloping lines to create the guide for the neck. Make the shape of the neck wide. Connect the circles in the middle using horizontal lines to finish the guide for the torso. The bottom line should slope down on the left side. On the right side of the body, draw a long vertical line as a guide for the tail. And that's it for the guidelines, now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch two small circles for the eyes. Place the eyes on top of the horizontal construction line and on either side of the vertical line. Pay attention to the size of the eyes in relation to the head. When you get the size and position of the eyes right, darken the shapes. The eye on the left should be a bit smaller than the eye on the right because the head is slightly turned. Make the sides of the eyes wider and pointier as you darken the shapes. The shape of each eye should be similar to a small football. Draw the inner corners of the eyes lower than the outer corners. Inside each eye, draw a tiny dot for the pupils. You can shade the eyes for dark colored irises or leave them blank for light colored eyes. Draw a couple of short curved lines around the eyes to emphasize the shapes. The inner corners of the eyes should point down toward the muzzle. Above each eye, draw a few short strokes for a bit of fur. Follow the shape of the eyes as you draw the fur. 
the eye on the left should be closer to the vertical guide than the eye on the right. Inside the muzzle, lightly sketch a small oval for the nose. Draw the nose close to the left edge of the muzzle. Pay attention to the size of the nose in relation to the circle for the muzzle. When you get the size and position of the nose right, darken the shape. Curve the sides of the nose inward to create the nostrils. Draw the nostril on the right slightly bigger than the nostril on the left. Make the shapes of the nostrils wider by darkening the lines. Draw a curved line at the bottom as you darken the lower edge of the nose. Make the bottom edge of the nose pointier than the initial oval. Add a short vertical line close to the bottom edge of the nose. Under the nose, draw a line that extends to the right for the mouth. Curve the line for the mouth down slightly and then curve it back up on the right side. The right tip of the mouth should be very close to the edge of the circle for the muzzle. On the right side of the mouth, add a thin shape for the gums. On the left side, curve the line up toward the nose to create the front part of the muzzle. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Shade in the small shape on the right for the gums. Make the front part of the mouth thicker and darker. Below the mouth, draw another line that extends to the right for the lower jaw. Break up the line into smaller strokes to emphasize the fur. The shape of the muzzle should fit inside the initial circle. Use the triangular shape on the top right side of the head as a guide to draw the first ear. Darken the shape of the ear but make the top part rounder. Draw the bottom tips of the ear farther inside the head. Draw a series of short strokes along the bottom part of the shape for the furry base of the ear. Inside the shape, draw a long curved line for the ear's opening. Add a few short strokes within the shape for the fur that's inside the ear. Now use the triangular shape on the left side as a guide to draw the other ear the same way. Darken the shape of the guide, but make the top part rounder. At the bottom, add short strokes for the furry base of the ear. Inside the shape, draw a vertical line and some short strokes for the furry ear opening. Now use the big circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Darken the top part of the circle, but make it flatter. Use short strokes as you draw the shape of the head for a furry texture. On the left side, curve the shape in toward the eye. Below that, curve the line to the left toward the muzzle. Draw a series of short strokes along the right edge of the initial circle for the side of the head. Draw the bottom part of the head slightly higher than the initial circle. Add a few more short strokes inside the head to give it more structure. On top of the nose, draw a line that curves up toward the eye on the left for the top part of the muzzle. Follow the path of the small initial circle as you draw this line. Now use the vertical line that's under the left side of the body as a guide to draw the front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. 
Draw the leg wider at the top than at the bottom. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Keep the edges of the leg close to the guideline so that the overall shape is thin. At the bottom, curve the shape of the leg to the left to create the paw. The front of the paw should be similar to the letter C. Draw a couple of short curved lines inside the paw to separate the toes. Bend the shape of the leg in the middle very slightly to indicate a joint. Use short strokes for a furry texture. On the left side, draw a similar shape for the other front leg. Use the first leg as a template as you draw this leg. Most of this leg will be hidden behind the first leg, so only draw the left edge. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. At the bottom, draw a small C-shaped line for the paw. Draw a couple of short curved lines inside the paw for the toes. Now use the angled line on the right side as a guide to draw the first hind leg. Just like before, first lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. The shape of the hind leg should be thick at the top and then gradually get thinner toward the bottom. Curve the shape of the leg around the middle of the guideline to create the joint. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Use short strokes as you darken the top part of the leg for a furry texture. At the bottom, bend the shape to the left to create the paw. Draw the top right side of the leg along the edge of the initial circle. The top part of the hind leg should be a lot wider than the top part of the front leg. Add a couple of short curved lines at the bottom for the toes. To the left, draw a similar shape for the other hind leg. The top part of this leg will be hidden behind the first hind leg, so only draw the bottom section. The top part of the leg should slope down into the right and then curve downward at the bottom. Draw this leg slightly higher than the first hind leg. Add the toes on the front of the paw using short curved lines. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Use short strokes as you darken the guides to create a furry texture. Add a few curved lines at the top for the overlapping fur. Draw the strokes for the underside of the body slightly longer. Use the vertical line on the right as a guide to draw the tail. Just like with the legs, first lightly sketch the shape of the tail around the guideline. Make the tail wide. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Use short strokes for a furry texture. Make the bottom of the tail pointy. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Shade the nose using a dark value but leave a thin strip at the top blank for a highlight. Add a dark value on the top part of the head for the pattern on the fur. Add the value lightly at first and gradually build up to a darker value. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. 
darken the outer edges of the eyes. Huskies have different fur patterns on their head, so you can shade yours differently if you'd like. Add more value throughout the body gradually. Leave the chest, the underside of the body, and the legs blank for the white fur. As you shade, separate each stroke a bit so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a more furry texture. Add a light value on the white fur to create some shadows. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. You can stop here for a white face or add more value around the eyes for a mask-like pattern. Leave a couple of sections above the eyes blank for the white brows. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the Husky. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.